when using my viewboard whiteboard, it's really easy to have others cast or share their screens directly in the software. The benefit of this is one, the devices don't need to be on the same network and it's all software driven. So you don't even technically need a view sonic board to do it. You're doing it all in whiteboard. Now, in order to do this, you first need to sign in to the whiteboard software. If you don't know how to do that, go watch the video on how to sign into whiteboard. Once signed in, you'll see in the top left corner, either your name or your email. This is what we call the board portal. And what we're going to do is we're just going to select it. And you're going to see here that it opens a window with a URL at the top. This URL is your portal. And so now participants can go type in that URL in order to be able to cast or share the screen. So we're going to do that right here on this device next to us. So myviewboard.com slash sharp. Now note that you can only access this website if you are signed in. So if you're not signed in and someone tries to go to this website, it's not going to work. Once you get into the portal, it's going to ask the participant for their name. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm just going to type in Dan. And then you're going to see lots of options. We can do things like throw and pop quiz and polls. We have videos on how to do those. So if you're curious about them, go check out those videos, but we're going to focus on screen sharing. Now, before we can start screen sharing, we need to enable it in the whiteboard software. So in the top right corner here, you're going to see this red rectangle with Wi-Fi bars on it. This is your casting button. And if we select it, you'll see here that we actually get a window with another red rectangle with Wi-Fi bars. This just means that our wireless presentation or wireless casting is turned off. And so in order for this to work, we need to turn it on. So we're going to select this and you'll notice that it goes from red to green. Green means go or it's ready. So from there, we're going to go back to our participant device and we're going to click the screen sharing button. Make sure all of our information is correct, including your name. And again, that host my view board name, that is whatever is in the top left corner. Click our share button. Now, when we're doing this, we're going to get another window that asks if we want to share our entire screen, a specific window or a specific tab. We're just going to go ahead and do our entire screen here. Now you will get prompt to be able to allow or deny your microphone. Make sure you click allow and we'll minimize this screen. And now we're going to come back to the whiteboard and you're going to notice that a number one popped up here. If we touch this button here, this is our present in uh, menu or what I like to refer to as the waiting room. So we can have a lot of participants in this waiting room at one time. Notice that their names are red, which means that they've requested to present, but you haven't enabled it yet. So what we're going to do is click or touch on one of the participants names. And then what it's going to do is it's going to open up the presentation menu. Now it does take a second to sync between the screens. Uh, we're going to go ahead and allow access here. And then you'll see here that now my screen is live. And when I click and open new tabs and those kinds of things, it's mirrored here. Now at any time uh, down at the bottom, you'll see that there's a little bulleted list. If I go to this bulleted list, this takes me back to that waiting room I was referring to earlier. So if I have more participants, I can actually select multiple participants at once and whiteboard will start tiling all the screens next to each other. Now I always get asked, how many screens can you tile? Well, I'm sure you can go beyond six, but once you get to six, it's kind of hard to see. So that's kind of the limit I like to put it at. Now, if you want to increase the size of your screen, you'll notice that there's a square down here. Uh, this will make the screen bigger. So it's a little easier to see what's being presented, but also notice there's a camera lens down here in the sharing window. If we click that camera lens, what it does is it'll actually take a screen capture of whatever is being displayed in the presentation menu. So when we close this or end, we now have a screen capture that goes directly into whiteboard. So again, if we are having participants and we want them to share their screen, we recommend doing it in whiteboard. Make sure you're signed in, go to that whiteboard portal, have them log in and then do wireless presentation.